the Patriots are bring back Devin McCourty for a one-year contract worth about $9 million. He's a leader in that locker room, a voice. He's still a really good player. I, yes, I keep him around. The Cowboys have traded Amari Cooper to the Browns. The Browns get yeah, Amari Cooper and a sixth round pick. The Cowboys get a fifth round pick and a sixth round pick. Not a whole lot of value, but I think the Cowboys are trying to just make money fast as they can. Lyle Collins, the Cowboys also granted Lyle Collins permission to seek a trade. Now, as I said in a previous video, it wouldn't be a lot of money this year, one point three million dollars. But after June six, if that's when they trade, after June first, I mean, at, when they, if they treated him after that date, they would make it. They wouldn't take a big cap hit. They would actually make around twenty million dollars. So it's kind of an interesting decision they have to be in. However, this was a surprising fact, and I didn't know this until late Friday night early Saturday morning, actually, late Saturday, excuse me, Joe Buck expected to leave Fox for NBC, for Monday Night Football, excuse me, after three decades. A guy who's done the World Series for baseball, has been a pro football commentator for almost three decades. This is a big move. According to NBC, the contract is worth close to seventy five million dollars. So now if you're Monday night you've just created you didn't have bark you didn't have a broadcasting crew, you bought in probably one of the best broadcasting crews. You then have Fox who had one of the best broadcasting crews. Now who do they put well they said Sean Payton could be is he putting are you putting him at the four o'clock time slot? And then who are you gonna put it with him? Maybe Kevin Burke, but you don't really want to take him away from from uh, Greg Olson, maybe Gus Johnson. That I could see that working out, and I think that would be a great pick on Fox's behalf. So, but who's now the commentators for Fox? Who knows at this present at this point in time. Supposedly, for Fox giving up, or letting go Joe Buck, Fox will get dibs on a big tent game in 2022. I mean, let's be honest, who won the pony at this point? Was it Monday night? Was it ESPN that won Joe Buck? Or was it Fox getting a big tent game? I mean, I think it's clear cut ESPN won this. I don't know what Fox is doing. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. The Cardinals and Zach Gertz have agreed to a three-year contract. $31.65 million, $17.5 million guaranteed. Keeping Zach Gertz in Arizona for the future. At least for three years. 